Hey people, welcome back to uh, the Maryland campaign. I'm John, and we uh, we do need to conclude turn six here. Uh, I wasn't able to get it done. the the prior The prior video was like an hour long, and I I just I couldn't get it finished. So we continue on with activations until we can get this wrapped up and I can get it posted. So let's go ahead and roll in it. Uh, two belongs to the union. All right, so let's move out a little bit and see what we want to do here. Um, I guess it's moving second core to keep up with 12th core. We're going to go ahead and ag activate them. And remember, uh, UCP is in effect, and they're just going to go right up this pike and, and, and join 12th core. So here's the movement, 1 die plus 1. It's a 7, take away 2 is 5, and they, like 12th core, move very well. One, two, three, four, five. They're on the road to Frederick. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And the die roll, two die. Um, that belongs to the Rebs. What are they going to do? They may, they may just pass here. Let me go all the way to Harper's Ferry and see what's going on over here. Harper's Ferry, um, they need to pass some foraging. Um, so they're not going to, they're not trying to run up their fatigues at this point. Uh, the sub and Hood are going to stay right there for now. And then Jackson's crew over here, they're going to just hang out. But wait a minute, what about D.H. Hill? He'll stay there. And then what about Lawton? What's his story? Lawton's up there. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to chill. The, the Rebs are going to pass. I think they're going to pass for the turn. So let's go back to second core. They're going to activate again to go to two, fatigue two, one die plus one. It's a five, take away two is they get to go three. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and the die roll two die. Uh, Rebs win it, pass to the Union. Uh, the Sumner's crew will go to orange. Movement, one die plus one. It's a four, take away two, so they only get to go two, two, two. Two now EM EMs for all three French uh, French is okay Richardson five he's gonna flip and power disorg and Sedgwick he's one he's all right okay so solid and it die roll to die. Uh, Union wins that. Let's take a look around here, I, which means I got to widen out, and I know that's not not uh, the people at home. It's hard to see things, but I am going to widen out here. We're going to activate Ford. Move him one more time. Fatigue. One die. He gets to go five. Take away two is three. Uh, one two three and the die roll to die three two union wins that what can they possibly okay i want to make sure i've moved everybody let me widen out um first new york let's activate them to die and to die they roll a 10 take away four is going to be six one, two, three, four, five, six. Knit die roll, two die. Uh, four, three, they win that. New York goes to two, two die. To get a fourth, well, they can only go three here. One, two, three. And it die roll, two die. Union wins that. Just moving Union Calvary at this point. And that now is going to be. First, Rhode Island, Teague, two die. Uh, it's an 11, take away four is going to be seven. Where do they want to go? Oh, straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
they're actually going to stop right there. A uh, knit die roll, two die. Four three belongs to the union. All right. Oh, Sykes. Let's get him going. Fatigue. Sykes. One die. Six. Take away two. It's going to be four. One, two, three, four. A knit die roll, two die. Uh, five, three. Um, Sykes again, knit two. One die. Five. Take away two. Three. One, two, three. To right there. Knit die roll, two die. Five, six. Belongs to the Reb. Rebs are going to pass to the Union. And let me, I got, I got to, I got to move out here to see what I can see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, now I need to know if 12th PA can be released because they're within eight of Jackson. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let, me, let me look at the book. That's 12th PA. Let me see what their deal is. Hold on, might take a minute. Might take longer than that. Twelfth PA. Twelfth PA. Um Okay. Still looking. Union movement restrictions. Uh, okay, exception. An uncommitted union unit is automatically committed at the moment Confederate unit moves within eight hexes of the union unit setup hex. Okay, well, then I have to, uncommitted, I have to think that this guy becomes released right here. He's within eight hexes of Jackson. Um, I'm going to eliminate that. That's uh, two, four, six, eight. All right, and with that being the case, I'm going to activate 12th PA. Fatigue, increase, two die. Uh, it's going to be five. And what are they going to do? Well, let's see what they're going to do. One, two, three, four, five. And it die roll, two die. Uh, Rebs pass at a union, 12th PA again. Fatigue, increase, two die. Uh, wow, 12, it's good. They can, it's, it's an eight actually. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Um, actually, he's going to go back across the river. Stay right there. Okay. Fabulous. And a die roll today. Uh, belongs to the Union. Oh, Union. Union. What is your deal? Do you want to move any more guys? Does Meade want to move? No, Meade will just stay where he is right now. Um, let's let you know what. Let's go ahead and activate Meade. Fatigue one. Uh, and I think we figured this out. Uh, it's like, okay, Stewart, are you going to move? Stewart is like, no, I'm not going to move. And then we figured this. And let's uh, Meade is going to roll then. He is actually going to roll. So he gets a six, take away two. Now he has a four. Okay, so now that we know he can do a friggin' prepared, um, will Stewart leave? Stewart's like, no, I'm not going to leave. All right, so let's type this out then. Uh, Mead has a prepared plus one. And it is nine. Its uh, ratio is plus three. Okay. Tack is minus one. Water minus one. 
is that it? So prepared is one, ratio is plus three. So that's going to be, it's going to be, yeah, the net is going to be union plus two. All right, so store chose to stay. Let's see what happens. Union plus two. And wow, the Rebs add a plus three, so it's going to be union negative one on a nine. Wow, that's not good. A negative one on a nine. Whoa, it's going to be a 1D. A 1D to a big F. All right, so let's do the easy one first. A big F is picking up two fatigues. Okay. And this one is going to be a is going to be a 1D. Ugh. Max out the fatigue. Well, that didn't turn out good for the union. It's going to be a manpower, decrease manpower, and it's going to be demoralized. Um, uh, it's going to be disorg, actually. And I think a demoralization goes with that, right? Uh, no, there's no retreat. We're going to undo that demoralization. Okay, that looks legit to me, and we're going to put a, a dead AOP loss put that on the track and wow all right cool and a die roll today belongs to the union okay let's widen out is it we're getting close to the union is going to chill for the turn uh, this whole section right here these guys are done um Yeah, does Hooker want to move? Do we want to move Hooker? Let's, does Hooker want to move? No, he doesn't. Hooker's going to stay right there, actually. Um, moving right along, let's check out everything for the Union. I thought I, thought I was going to move Hooker, but no, I don't want to take the chance of him breaking. Um, 6 US, okay, everybody down here has moved. Uh, those guys are cool. Uh, the 12th and 2nd Corps are moving really nicely. Sykes, does he want to move again? Sykes will actually, he'll go one more time. He's going to go to orange. Fatigue. One die. He goes for, he can go two hexes to Darnstown. Here's the ZM. Six, he does flip. All right, not the end of the world. Disorg. All right, and a die roll. Two die. Uh, two one belongs to the Union. Let's go way over here and see what we have. Over by Harper's Ferry. See how that situation is going right here. 12th Illinois. Let's move then the Duffields. Uh, fatigue increase. Two die. It's 10 takeaway for you. He gets a 6 actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The die roll today. 4, 1. Uh, 12th Illinois will go again. Two die. He gets a seven, take away four, three. He only needs two to get into Duffields. Good, and a die roll to die. Four, two belongs to the Union. What else would they want to do? They, um, God. Um. Um, New York's going to go fatigued. They'll take him to three, two die. It's going to be, wow, it's it's five. Take away, five, take away four. He only gets to go one. Here's a ZM roll. He's good. A nit die roll, two die. Belongs to the Rebs. Rebs pass to the Union. Um, I think the Union is done for the turn okay so we we are done we're all, we're all done with our moves and you can see the jackson situation right there it's going to be interesting can he bust out of this attempted encirclement and he was hell-bent to move to ellicott mills possibly was going to move to baltimore but ja uh, smith managed to get up there and 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 
cock blocked his direct route into Baltimore and, and, and we move on. All right. So let's go ahead and, and do what we got to do. We got foraging to do. We got lots of foraging to do. So let me try to find the foraging chart. Uh, <clears throat> foraging chart. Okay. Here it is. We got lots of it to do. So I'm going to minimize one and I'm going to go over to, to the Harper's Ferry area. Okay, where the hell is it? Okay, so these guys are tick. A lot of these guys are tip uh, are still in Jefferson County. Um, Jefferson County, which is a five for the rebels. Okay, so we should have quite a few flips going on because they don't have any fatigue. Okay, Dr. Jones needs a five or less. Is that? Let me confirm that that's still Jefferson County. Um, indeed, it is Jefferson County. Dr. Jones needs a five or less. Here we go, and make sure that is the number Jefferson five. All right, here we go. Here's the roll. And he gets a one, he flips back. Uh, manpower, OOS, cured. Anderson, uh, five or less. He's cured. Okay, some good foraging going on over here. Okay, Walker, five or less. Oh, he gets a six. He does not make it. Walker does not make it. Interesting. Okay, now Evans is in Virginia, but he is in he is in Loudoun County. Um, okay, Loudoun County is for the uh, Confederates is a three. Okay, so he needs a three. So wow, quite a difference. These guys are two hexes away, but it's a big number. Um, difference. Um, so Evans needs a one, two, or a three. He does get it. Okay, OOS is cured. And now we're talking about McClaws is not eligible because he has three fatigues. Okay, and that's fine because he did really good with his turn. Okay, moving back over to the sub. The sub is in not Montgomery County. It is Frederick are they in Frederick West? The sub is in Frederick West. And Frederick West is... What's their foraging die rolls? Okay, so Frederick West is going to add one to his number. He basically has to pop a three to get this. Um, let's see what happens. Or a one. He gets a six. It's not happening. So the sub doesn't have a hood is in supply. He's good. Moving over here. Lawton is in Frederick East. Let's see his deal. Uh, he can't do it no matter what because he adds two to his number and he's got two fatigues. He can't do it. The number's four. Okay, so Lawton can't do it no matter what. We move over to Munford. And what is this month? This is Howard County, Munford. Howard County is a four plus plus, so we're adding two. He's got to roll a one, Munford. Nope, two doesn't get it done. F. Lee, uh, he can't do it because he's adding two to his number and he's already got two fatigues. The last one's J.R. Jones. It's the same thing. He's there adding two to the number. He's already got two fatigues. Four is the number. So, what? and, and Stewart... Stewart is also in Howard County. He's got two fatigues. He can't do it. Um, okay, so that's it. And as you can imagine, the uh, units that were close to um, uh, close to Harper's Ferry in in uh, Berkeley County, they had no problem. Pop well, Walker actually couldn't do it. So, all right, uh, it looks like one, two, three, three that I know of were able to flip over. I guess that's kind of good. So let's do, now we do a recovery. So let's do a recovery and. I don't know who's going to recover because we had that union thing where they're not recovering. Um, okay. So, all right, let's go ahead and, and do a B1, B1, F3 over here. Okay, let's hit a recovery. All 
Okay. Solid. Um, let's go left to right. I want to check out the Union, the Union Army here. I want to, actually, I'm going to check out everybody to make sure they recovered. Um, okay, 12th Illinois recovered. Okay, those guys are moving nicely. Trimble went to B2. I'm not sure where they were. Trimble and Ward. Um, I know Trimble did move over a little while ago, so that looks about right to me. The the Rebs recovered nicely. Um, what about McClaws? Yeah, his his three fatigues came off. Du Tassie, Ford, Ohio. Um, second Corps right here recovered the sub, and Hood did not recover. No, no, no. Hood did recover because he went to he went to red. Okay, Twelfth uh, Corps recovered. Uh, what about Lawton up here? Lawton recovered nicely. D. H. Hill did. First Rhode Island. Uh, Reno's guys, indeed, they did recover. Hooker. Yep. D. H. Hill. Now, what about Jackson and them? Um, notice 12th PA did not recover. I'll take care of them right now. Um, decrease fatigue, decrease fatigue. Um, Jackson, they did recover nicely. Um, Smith, yeah, I got a phone call. Let me get rid of them real quick. Hello. Was this concerning? Yes. This is foreign job opportunity, and I'm just wanting to check if you are looking. No, I'm not looking. Bye bye. Job opportunity. Actually, I am looking, but I don't want to talk to her right now. Okay. Um, so what were we talking about? We were talking about Smith. Uh, did he go to four? He might have damn well went to four. And then these units uh, moving down towards D.C. Reno, Meade and them. Um, yeah, Meade got spanked. He went to four. Franklin and them. Nice. Um what is this not released? This is not released guy right here. He should be released because he's within eight hexes of Stewart. So let's take his not released off. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that. No, actually, I'll undo it, undo it, and take it off from here. Uh, delete. All right. So, anyways, everybody looks looks basically good. Um, all right, so we've recovered. Now, let's see what else do we have. Now we got to talk about county control, and this is going to be a bitch to figure this out. This county control. So let me read about county control right here, specifically Maryland county control. Okay, because I don't know um, what to make of this right here. But you know what? I've got to find it before we can read about it. Come on, Maryland County Control. Foraging, supply status, substitute units, blah 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 why can't i find county control are you serious here it is a page 24. all right control of maryland counties now this is what i'm trying to see if whether uh, jackson has control of howard county that's specifically what i'm talking about right here um does he have the county seat yes does he have enough manpower in the uh county yes but there's something else we need to talk about in regards to that. Um, okay, the the uh, in, in a Maryland County Control phase, Confederate player determines whether he fulfills the requirements. Blah 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 blah. The Union player may not move units by rail into that county if the rebels control it. Uh, immediately receives VP. Okay, control. Okay, each Maryland has a, a county seat. Yeah, we own that. Okay, the, okay, how to determine count, Confederate control of a county? The county control seat must be occupied by the Confederate Union with manpower two or more. Yes, Stonewall has Ellicott Mills. 
Here's the problem. The unit must be able to trace a continuous path of road, pike, or railroad hexes on a limited link to any of the following hexes. Winchester, basically you got to control a road, pike, or railroad out of there to to your area of the map. Winchester, Harpers Ferry, any south map edge, blah, 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 blah. In addition, the county must be occupied by Confederate units with a total map power of 13 or more. They have that. Uh, so I've been a unit, unit, do not have to have, okay. All right, so, does he have a path out of here? Does he have a path out of here? Um, and the, the first thing we look at is he, the, we were going to look at this pike right here, uh, Pine Orchard, but it is in Hooker's ZOC. Really? So let's read that a little closely. Um... The unit must be able to trace a continuous path of road on, of any link to any. The path may not enter a union occupied hex, a union zoc. Ooh, okay. Well, and this one would be all right with Munford right here, but this one at Wheatland poses a problem. So that's a problem. So what about so basically? Hooker is screwing up my control of Howard County. Do we have it any other way? Um, I mean, in theory, you could say that it's coming out of Ellicott Mills up to Pine Orchard. Okay, up to 1814, over to 1613, and then up to the railroad and out. You could say that. You could possibly say that. Um, and that would come over to Frederick Junction and then down. Um, Frederick Junction to right here, and then Point of Rocks and, and down into uh, Loudoun County, Virginia. Do I want, so technically speaking, and then let's reread it one more time, not the whole damn thing. I just want to read this one sentence. The unit must be able to trace a continuous path of road, pike, or railroad hexes, unlimited length. Okay, so theoretically, he could trace to Pine Orchard, up one to Dorsey's Run, and then up to 1613 and then up to Marriott'sville and then just ride the damn uh, railroad all the way over to Frederick Junction and then down to Point of Rocks. Theoretically, um, I believe that would suffice. Um, you must be able to trace a continuous path of road, pike, or railroad hexes, and he does, he actually brings all three, he combines all three, uh, I don't know if, I, I assume in you can, uh, you can combine all three. So he has Pike up to Pine Orchard, Road up to 1814, 1613, up to Marriott'sville, and then it's railroad all the way. Up. So I am going to award them. I am going to award them. Um, Uh, county control, or he could also do it this way. He could just take the pike all the way over the Munford. Um, Hooker's Zock does not extend into a, uh, a friendly occupied Zock. Munford, he could go all the way to Munford and then go down two to 1215 and then up again and catch the pike again. So that's two different ways that he could do it. It'd be much easier if friggin' Hooker was just not there. That would be a hell of a lot easier. Um, I'm going to go ahead and award county control of Howard County to uh, the, the, the rebels right here. 
uh, by the letter of the law, they do have it. And let's go ahead and see what Howard County might be 10 points. Howard County for in game is, is indeed 10 points. All right. I don't think they're going to have it next turn, but I'm going to award it to them for this turn. So let's go ahead and make a note of this. All right, control C, we'll make a note, type it in, enter. I'm just gonna type in Howard County, 10 points. Ten victory points. Okay, you guys can't see this at home, but we have notes, save, okay, and then move the victory point thing up to, it's going to be 24 at this point. How many do they need? They need like, how many do they, the Rebs need to win this game or to get a, a marginal would be 115. That gives you some reference. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, 115 for a marginal. So that just gives you some reference to know that they got a lot of a lot of rigging work to do so this what now what else is what else do we do in in this um after turn do we ward county control we did the foraging we did a recovery and what else is there recovery phase maryland nothing that's that's going to get it done and then we gonna we're gonna move up to turn seven so next turn is going to be september 10th turn seven so i'm going to go ahead file save game and god i don't even know what i was saving this as uh game files what was i saving it as oh wow uh, i'm just going to put uh youtube maryland Cam. Okay, YouTube has hit save. Okay. All right. I just hit it again. Save game. Okay. So that's what we have. So let's look at the situation really, really quickly over here. This is what you have. Okay, so in turn six, the Rebels had managed to uh, actually... Um, cut off Harper's Ferry, surrounded all three uh, places. Um, the batteries, uh, Bolivar, Loudon, Naval Battery, all the heights and all the uh, places to bombard Harper's Ferry have been occupied. So they've, they've met what they, and then it's just a die roll. They're looking for the Harper's Ferry surrender. And that's, that's what we're going to start rolling for in the next uh, sequence of events. And then over here, this is disconcerting if you're the Reb. So basically Jackson went to knock out the depot at Ellicott Mills and possibly move on Baltimore. Smith was able to get in their way and they got some forces together to do that. So that prevented that. Um, D.H. Hill is in this, uh, the uh, cab over here are on a way, are, 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 are making their way over to get to extract Jackson the hell out of there. Um, and then what you have, and then, and so you, and then you have these two, uh, the federal corps are heading northwest straight up the pike towards Frederick. That's disconcerting. And also you have a situation, now here's a situation what the rebels have been playing for, okay? They are going to knock out this depot up here with Lawton, and hopefully they can beat the Union to this depot right here at Mount Airy. If they knock out those two depots and the one at Frederick, okay, the Union is going to be out of supply until they build the depot. So I don't, we'll see what that happens because now I'm beginning to have my doubts as to whether the rebels are actually going to be able to not kill those those three depots but if they do the union has no supply so we'll see how that turns out and 
And and at the same time, the rebels have to extract Jackson because blowing up that de depot at Ellicott Mills could really, really be a problem with their supply. The one at the the depot at Rockville was uh, destroyed early on in the game, and this one at Mount Airy. So maybe D. H. Hill should have blown that depot before he moved east. We're gonna see what happens. I might just go do another video right now. But anyways, let me upload this one. We'll see you guys in turn. What is it? Turn seven. All right. I'm John. I'm out. See you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.